Right guys, this question is about transformation of functions and uh, basically was a request from Murti to um, take him through question 15 from one of the past exam paper. Um, now before we get started with the question, um, I'm just going to very quickly recap on a few of the transformation that you need to know whenever you have a function f of x. So we're going to start with, um, for instance, if you have a graph and um, you have a curve and most of the time on those type of questions you get a minimum point so they say to you you've got minimum points here and we're going to say that it's 2 it's 2 2 and we're going to label this f of x so basically this is the uh, the starting graph and what we want to do is work out what f of x sorry f of x plus 2 is going to look like the first rule you need to remember is that whenever you have a number inside the bracket and it's a positive number it means that you're going to shift your whole curve along the x-axis so here's your x-axis so along the x-axis by minus 2 so if it's plus 2 you shift it along by minus 2 and vice versa okay so in this case plus 2 means that I'm going to shift along my graph along the x-axis by minus 2 so I'm only going to move it along the x-axis so from here it's gonna go all the way up to here so I draw my point there and I can draw my graph just like that now when you join your graph, what you're trying to do is try to make it look like the original graph. But the most important point is that point there which which has been moved by minus 2 this time. Okay, so that's the first transformation. If on the other hand I had f of x minus 2, then, so that one here is f x plus 2. So if I wanted to work out f of x minus 2 this time, well because I've got a minus 2 it means that it's going to, the original graph is going to shift along the x-axis by plus 2. So if I'm on 2 here, I need to move it up by 2. So let's pretend that this is 4. My new point is going to go somewhere around here. And then you can just draw your graph. Okay, so just very quickly I'm going to recap it here. So here's my original graph. It's on 2. 2. If I want to draw f of x plus 2, then it's going to come here and you just draw your graph. So that's f of x plus 2. Because the plus 2 shifts the point along the x axis by 2. And if I wanted to work out f of x minus 2, then again, my original graph uh, is right here, so this is f of x, and I need to move by plus 2 this time, if it's minus 2 inside, then I need to move it by plus 2, plus 2 means that it's going to go all the way up to 4 now, and the y coordinate is going to stay the same, so it's going to come somewhere around here, and then you just redraw your graph, okay, so that's the first type of transformation that you can get. Now let's take a look at the second type of transformation that you can get. Um, the second one is when you have a number outside f of x. So again, here's my graph, 2, 2, and it's f of x. And I want to <coughs> And I want to draw f of x plus 2. Now, if you have that sort of setup, then the number...